Let's ultrasound on today's topic, all about cysts on a breast ultrasound. A cyst is a pocket of fluid in the breast tissue. There's three categories of cysts. Simple cysts, complicated cysts, or a complex mess. A simple cyst is a cyst that has clear, watery fluid inside. A complicated cyst is a cyst that either has proteinaceous debris and or thick fluid inside, and that debris may or may not be mobile, or it can also be a cluster of cysts. A complex mass is a mass that contains both solid and cystic components and or has thick septations and or internal vascularity. A simple cyst is a collection of watery fluid in the breast. These are most common in women ages 35 to 50. Usually cysts diminish after menopause. However, they can be seen postmenopausally in women taking HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. Cysts are a mass in the breast that are hormonally driven, which is why we see them most commonly in the years before menopause. There's five ultrasound features of a simple cyst. Number one, anechoic. This means that there's no internal echoes within this cyst. It's completely black inside. Feature number two, avascular. This means that there's no blood flow within the mass with color, power, or spectrum. Doppler. Feature number three, oval or round shape. Feature number four, the wall should be thin and circumscribed. And feature number five, posterior acoustic enhancement. This means that it looks like someone's shining a flashlight down through the mass and the echoes posterior to the mass are brighter. Whenever you see posterior enhancement, you'll almost always see edge shadowing. These go hand in hand. The next category of cyst on a breast ultrasound is known as a complicated cyst. And a complicated cyst is a cyst with some type of internal debris, whether it be proteinaceous debris, cells, crystals, blood, calcium, milk, lymphocytes, or some type of internal septation. The ultrasound appearance of a complicated cyst is going to be a cyst with internal echoes, and those internal echoes are going to indicate some type of debris. The debris can be mobile or stationary, and the debris can move spontaneously on its own, or may only move with a change in patient positioning. A complicated cyst should be avascular, although it's important to note that mobile debris within a complicated cyst can mimic color or power Doppler signal. The color or power Doppler picks up the motion of the debris and the ultrasound machine incorrectly interprets this as vascularity. A complicated cyst should have posterior acoustic enhancement, it should have thin walls and be circumscribed, and may or may not contain thin septations that are less than one millimeter thick. There are four types of complicated cysts on a breast ultrasound. The first type is known as an acorn cyst, and this is a cyst that's going to have a fluid and a debris level. It's gonna be filled with fat and proteinaceous debris. The debris may be non-mobile or it may be gravity dependent, which means it's mobile with a change in patient position. An acorn cyst should also be avascular. The next type of complicated cyst is a cyst that has mobile debris, and these are often nicknamed snow globe cysts. And this is because the mobile debris that's within the cyst looks like a snow globe being shaken up. The debris is moving on its own, and it almost looks like it's snowing within the cyst. A cyst with mobile debris should be avascular, although because there's so much motion of the debris occurring, the mobile debris can mimic the appearance of blood flow when using color or power Doppler. The third type of complicated cyst is a cluster of cysts. And this is a group of small cysts that are clustered together. And I want you to think of this like a cluster of grapes. The individual walls of the cysts can mimic the appearance of thin septations. 
a cluster of cysts should be avascular. The fourth type of complicated cyst is a cyst with thick fluid, and this is where the cyst is completely filled with non-mobile internal debris. There's going to be low-level internal echoes throughout the mass. The mass should be avascular, and this type of complicated cyst can mimic the appearance of an avascular solid mass. The third category of breast cysts is known as a complex mass. And this is a mass that has both solid and cystic components. And this may be a solid mass that's actually within a milk duct or within a cyst. A papilloma or cancer is always a concern with a complex mass. However, this could also be fibrocystic changes in the breast. A complex mass can be either benign or malignant, so it's important to pay attention to the features of that specific mass. Features that raise the level of suspicion of a complex mass are internal vascularity, irregular margins, such as spiculated, angular, or microlobulated margins, thick septations, greater than one millimeter in thickness, thick walls of the cyst, a vertical orientation, this is a taller than wide orientation on the ultrasound image, don't forget, skyscrapers or taller than wide masses are a suspicious ultrasound feature. Any suspicious calcifications within the mass can increase the level of suspicion of the mass. The ultrasound appearance of a complex mass is highly variable and dependent on whether the mass is suspicious or more benign in nature. It may or may not have debris or internal echoes within the cystic components of the complex mass, and this debris can be mobile or stationary. The walls of a complex mass can be thin or thick. The solid components of a complex mass may or may not display vascularity. A complex mass also may or may not have thick septations, and thick septations are septations that are greater than one millimeter thick. A complex mass is generally round or oval, and generally the cystic components are avascular. However, if there's mobile debris within the cystic components, this can mimic the appearance of a Doppler signal on ultrasound. Complex masses generally have posterior acoustic enhancements, and they will have a complex echogenicity with both solid and cystic components, and also a heterogeneous ultrasound echo texture. Let's talk about a common benign condition that can occur in the breast. This is known as fibrocystic changes. And these are benign changes that occur in the breast that may or may not produce symptoms. And it's estimated that this affects 60 to 90% of all women sometime during their lifetime. And this is associated with hormonal changes to the breast tissue. And there's four changes that are occurring to the breast tissue. Number one is fibrosis. And this is where the stroma proliferates. Change number two to the breast tissue is adenosis, and this is where the lobules of the breast enlarge. Change number three is hyperplasia. This is where the epithelial cells within the ducts proliferate. And change number four is cysts. There's focal dilatation of the milk ducts, and generally with fibrocystic changes, you have multiple cysts of varying size throughout the breast tissue. And just a little breast anatomy review, there's two basic categories of breast anatomy. Number one is stroma, and this is the supportive tissue of the breast. This is the fatty tissue plus the connective tissue. And then there's also the epithelium, and this is the functional tissue of the breast. This is the lobes, lobules, acini, milk ducts, etc. The ultrasound appearance of fibrocystic changes has a wide variability, but generally you're going to see on ultrasound multiple cysts bilaterally of variable size. And these cysts can be simple, complicated, or complex, or any mixture of any three of those. 
You may see clusters of cysts. You'll often see dilated ducts, which is known as ductal ectasia. The mammogram appearance of fibrocystic changes is multiple nodules of variable size, and then also just an increased tissue density overall throughout the breast tissue. And the clinical presentation of fibrocystic changes is when there are symptoms present, uh, the patient will most commonly have pain and one or more palpable lumps throughout the breast tissue. The ultrasound image on this slide represents the classic ultrasound appearance of fibrocystic changes. And this is multiple cysts of varying size and varying complexity visualized within the breast tissue. The other image is a schematic which demonstrates the normal breast with its ducts and lobules and lobes compared to the fibrocystic breast where you'll see that these lobules are enlarging, producing multiple cysts of varying size throughout the tissue. And this schematic is from the Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.